Alright guys, well here it is, and as you can tell from the title of the video, this is an SKS that I got from Classic Firearms. Um, they were having a bottom of the barrel sale, basically. Uh, they, were, uh, they were selling, I mean, just the most rough condition SKSs you could possibly find for $250. bucks. i have been looking for a reasonably priced SKS for a while. I got rid of my last one a few years ago and uh, have regretted it ever since. Uh, so I wanted to pick another one up. Didn't want to pay a lot of money. $250 is not a lot of money for SKSs nowadays. Uh, and also, you guys know, I, I, I just like to work on stuff. I like to fix stuff up. I like to restore stuff and refinish it and take something that's ugly and make it look good again. Um, so let's go ahead and crack this open and let's see what a $250 SKS from Classic Firearms actually looks like. All right, so we got it out of the box and we got it wrapped up in some bubble wrap here. And yes, I'm wearing gloves. Um, the reason is because I, you know, obviously this had to be opened up at the shop so they could get the serial number off of it and everything. And uh, I got a chance to take a look at it out of the box then. And this thing is caked in cosmoline. This is about the most cosmoline ridden uh, gun I have ever, ever received, period. Um, I usually don't worry about gloves, I usually don't care about cosmoline. But you can't do anything with this thing without just coming away goopy. Uh, it was nasty. It was really nasty. So, uh, let's see. Man, I got a little tag here. Safety warning. Okay, got that. Got our tag up front. What does that tag say? Stock. Okay. Well, look at this. I mean, I, I don't. You're supposed to be able to see, well, sometimes it depends on you can see a little daylight through there. That's just all nasty cosmoline. Front sights caked with cosmoline. Um, everywhere you touch, I mean, it's just, just look at this. Rub my finger across it. Look at that. Ugh. I mean, that's good for keeping this thing preserved. But uh, look at the all around pack in here. This is going to take quite a while to clean. This is going to take quite a while indeed. Um, now they did say they had crack stocks, and I don't know if you can tell, but the crack is like right here. Okay, that's where I saw it. So I'm going to strip this thing down and determine how deep that crack is, and whether or not I think it's something that I just need to replace the stock, or whether it's something that's salvageable. So we're going to play around with that. And of course, we've got a nice little ding in the stock right there. Um, lots of cosmoline. A little bit of rust here at the back on the back plate around the edges there and the screws but okay so sorry about that my battery went dead on my camera I forgot to have it plugged in so let's go ahead and finish this up but uh, yeah basically there's there's really not much to show um, we got oh look at that caked with cosmoline so yes yeah, so I'm gonna have to disassemble this whole thing and really get in there and just uh, tear everything apart every piece clean off every little nook and cranny uh, I'm probably gonna use a lot of simple green and some other chemicals here uh, I guess you got a chunk of the stock coming off right there. Um, so this thing is in rough shape. However, um, this still looks like a very, very shootable rifle once it's cleaned up. So, you know, don't know about the stock. We'll see about the stock. But outside of that, uh, I mean, look at this. Look at my glove just touching this stuff. It's just nasty. <laughs> so a lot, a lot of cleaning to be done. Stuff like that. All this stuff caked up all over the place. But I will say I'm glad that it's still wet cosmoline as opposed to dried on cosmoline, which is much harder to uh, to remove. So anyway, there it is. There is what a $250 SKS from Classic Firearms looks like. So there you go, guys. Enjoy. Maybe, maybe you had a chance to get one. I don't know. But uh, if you did, uh, stick around. We're going to do a before and after kind of a, a refinish on this and see if we can get it back to some of its former glory. All right, guys. We'll get out of here. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.